Hey, how you doing? With a, I'm here today on another <gasps> comments from the peanut gallery. With a, <laughs> I always got a question. What's carbon? What is it? What does it have to do with the number six six six? Oh no, that's a terrible number. Should never use that. If it's on your locker, you get a new locker because you don't want a new locker with the number six 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 on it because it's bad. Oh, we have right behind you, in front of me, we have a carbon unit walking around. Here, I'm going to turn so you can see the carbon unit that's walking around. Oh, there she is. She just had a calf just a few weeks ago. It is another carbon unit. C12, okay? C12 is the most prevalent carbon. Okay, it's like 99% of the carbon of the planet is C12. What is C12? It has uh, six neutrons, six protons, and six neutrons, protons, and another tron something. Anyhow, it's <laughs> it has six of this and six of this and six of that. Protons, neutrons, huh. You can tell I'm not a scientist, but I've looked at it enough to know. Hey, it's the, the number attributed by man to this thing called carbon. And carbon is what you are made of. It's what I am made of. Everything that you see around me here is made of carbon. All of this stuff. See, look around. We're cutting trees down for the timber frame stuff that I'm working on and to get more pasture. And you see a lot of carbon hit the ground. It has been sequestered in the trees. <laughs> it's held captive in there. And now as soon as I cut the tree down, the carbon is released into the atmosphere because the tree is dead. At least that's what they figured, you know? <gasps> but it is a circle. <laughs> It is the primary building block of the planet. It's the way it was designed. Carbon is the sixth most prevalent, again, a number six, sixth most prevalent substance of the planet. Carbon, of which 98 point, it's like 87, 98.87% of carbon is the C12 carbon. Most common. That's, that's like almost all of it. So. Oh, here comes another one, another carbon unit. You see her back there? Where is she? Uh, oh, she's over there more. There she goes. She's going to have a calf in a couple of weeks. There she is. Yeah. Kind of late in the year to have a calf, but <laughs> we didn't we didn't get Jackson in here till it was kind of late in the year. But the uh, <laughs> the rascal did his thing. We got. Uh, Three calves that are this year. So, third one is still to be delivered, but she's there inside of that big mama cow island. So, carbon is carbon the enemy? Is carbon bad? <laughs> oh, it's that, and this beast that has the number 666. Okay, you see all the trees down around me? All the trees. I used a tool to take them down. It's called a chainsaw. I used a tool to do that. A chainsaw to take down the trees. Anything can be used as a tool. Even carbon being used as a tool. As a tool to control people. The powers of the earth. How many billionaires on the planet and they get together for this thing and find out ways to control people. Devise ways to control people, to get them under their thumb and to turn them into slaves. And they found that if they could control the ebb and flow, and this is my opinion, my opinion, and this is my channel. So if you don't like it, you can go someplace else. <laughs> They got lots of choices out there. That control, if they could control the ebb and flow of carbon, because everything you see around me is carbon. Trees, grass, you, me, the cows, 
the houses we build are mostly carbon mostly carbon carbon is the most unique structure no, most unique in that it can join itself with other stuff in the way that it was designed so it's the most unique building block on the planet carbon but if they can control the ebb and flow of carbon they can control the world around you because as you see the world around me it's like 98.7 99.7 percent carbon around me and i think it anyhow so they come in with the green new deal they come in with oh you got to make the engine like this you got to make the engine like that because you can't buy that engine you can't buy a vehicle that doesn't have the correct carbon number on it <laughs> if it's not doing this certain thing as far as the carbon is concerned you can't buy it you can't sell it <laughs> there's stuff california you want to go to a, an online auction and get something there's all sorts of stuff Oh, things that have tier three engines and tier oh if it's got a tier two engine if it's just a diesel engine you can't even like run it in california anymore <sighs> controlling you the beast <laughs> using carbon as a tool to control you trying to control you trying to control me using carbon as the tool to do it with it is the most prevalent substance of the planet of the world that we live in the stuff around us even oh you breathe and you exhale carbon huh, yeah and those cows here i'm going to turn so you can see how this thing works because i cut the trees down and i leave them sit there for a day maybe two while the cows come along and eat the leaves and then those cows that eat the leaves the carbon <laughs> the mamas the ones that are mamas already one is turning it into a calf the other ones they already the other two already had their calf and those calves are drinking carbon that has been transformed from a leaf or hay or grass into milk carbon again if they can control carbon they can control everything around you think about it don't don't up do not don't please 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 don't sign up for the green new deal we need to take care of the planet of course be stewards of it steward you see the protests in st places they're burning all sorts of stuff toxic stuff that's going into the atmosphere if you ever looked and saw what when a tennis ball burns i spent eight years on the fire department we were in a burning building one time one the guy knocked his mask off get bumped knocked off he where he got inhaled one breath of this whatever was burning a mattress near him it it put him to his knees and then out of the second story window he bailed out of that window <laughs> just to get away from the smoke but the rioters are burning stuff like that wholesale all sorts of just letting her burn and there's people out there mostly democrats that just say come in and let her burn it down in minneapolis here's another thing of truth the mayor no governor of minneapolis talked to the store owners where the rioters were coming and said we have the national guard here and we are going to protect your stores so you can stand down and leave this is what the governor told i have inside sources this is first-hand information that i got okay one of my customers was one of the National Guard. <laughs> That's one of the sources, okay? <laughs> okay, so the, the governor told the store owners, you can just be confident we're going to protect your store. Store owners leave. 
they take their weaponry with them or else hit it in the store. Anyhow, they stand down, leave, going to trust the governor. And then once the store owners vacated, so did the order come to the National Guard to also vacate. And went so far as the rioters burned the police station down. <laughs> oh, like half a billion dollars in damage in Minneapolis. Going, wow, is this really stupid. But it is what it is, and it is what they did. So there you go. It is what it is. But you can change that with the truth.